Did we ever tell the story of, of the casino on the vlog? Okay, so here's what happened. It was me, Andreas, Allison, and Seamus. We're at the casino, and we're all sitting at blackjack. I'm down a little bit. Everyone's, you know, either up or down a little bit. And then I say, you know what? We've been in the casino long enough. We had a good time. I'm going all in. I put in like 400 bucks. I'm like, let's just do it. The last hand. And we all throw our money in. The dealer then gives out everyone's cards, and he's showing a five. And so I'm like, stay, stay. Everyone stay. He's showing five, which means he's very likely going to flip over a face card, having 15, be forced to hit, and then bust. Because the likelihood of him getting a six is very low, a six or less. So here's what happens. I'm at 13. The dealer knows it. He knows strategy. So he's like, he looks at me and he just passes me over like he knows I'm going to stay. He looks at Allison and he's like, yeah, he knows he's going to stay. And then Seamus goes, I'm going to hit. Seamus is at 13. And then the dealer's like, uh, okay. And then pulls a six. And then Seamus is like, okay, I'm at 19. I'm good. And we're like, oh, thank God. Then Andreas stays also at like 12. The dealer then flips over a four. Now he's sitting on a nine. He hits. Boom. It's a queen. 19. He beats everybody, he pushes Seamus, we all lose. If Seamus didn't hit, the dealer would have hit a six, then had 15, then hit the queen, and we all would have won! Seamus, why did you hit? <laughs> that was like three it's weeks true. ago. What are you doing? You, you're trespassing. That's you're, right. Hey, hey. He knows what's up. Jews have a problem with engenderment, just like anybody else. You know, the, the, we have signs that say no trespassing, right? I assume the deer can read. We are making wine berry ice cream. It's basically this invasive species of Asian raspberry. There are little tiny bugs that live on these berries, and they're hilarious. They have like yellow bodies, and their legs go like that and they look like little crabs. And so they like walk around and they live on the berry and they're like eating it. Three cups of heavy cream, three cups of ripe strawberries, put them in a bowl. Otherwise a droplet or two will get in your ice cream. One and a half cups of whole milk, three cups of heavy cream. What does it say? How much sugar? One and one eighth cups, it's a weird measurement. Did you get the little bugs off of them? I did. I think so. I rinsed it pretty well. We won't notice the did bugs. Did you murder the little bugs or did you free them? I murdered them. It's not ice creaming fast enough. Ooh, it's ice cream and I can see it. This is breakfast actually. How is it bad for you though, right? If you were to put a bunch of cream in your coffee, like three cups, and a cup of milk, in your cereal, you know, there you go. It's a good breakfast. The berries are starting to explode. Yeah. Tim Cast brand homemade lemon wineberry topping. That's right. Allison pulled about a cup of wineberries, and then we made this uh, jam like substance. We're gonna put it on top of the cheesecake. What, what is this? How many boxes do I need? I don't know, I don't know. No, but it's a box, you open it, and a box comes out. Is this enough, this is not enough cream cheese. You only grab one. You only grab one? Jim Chaffee, old fashioned ice cream. <laughs> Available only at our live events. Let's see if he likes the ice cream. What kind of cat doesn't like cream? What? Look at this guy. He's not eating it? No, he's, he's like wincing and pulling away. What? Okay, come back! It's a cat. Cats like cream. I know, but it's got other cream. Yeah, but still, I, I grabbed just the cream part. I don't know it. Oh, okay. We jerk. 
He reverse booped me. It's where you put your finger out and then he shoves his nose into it. We got little axes for throwing. You just go like this. Hey, Andreas, catch! <laughs> These are actually pretty hard to throw. I don't know, they never stick. If you throw them this way. I have no idea what's in this box. I shouldn't do that, huh? That should be able to go all the way back, right? Yeah, I, I assume that this is gonna fit right into the, this. Uh... They make you do a tutorial class in order to claim your warranty. This printer is no slouch. Like these Chinese printers, amazing printers, but everyone's been telling us they want to see us using more made in USA stuff. Well, here it is. This is the ultimate made in USA printer. This is the uh, most powerful machine that you're going to be able to get for less than $100,000, $20,000, you know. In this price range, you're you're able to print carbon fiber, uh, ABS, nylon, any kind of plastic that is, you know, more complicated to print. You can actually print with certain kinds of metallic resin. Um, basically, we're gonna be able to make bulletproof bumpers for our cars, and, and that'll, that'll be easier for when Tim starts fighting crime. This is our new friend, Fusion. Fusion, say hello, Fusion. One of the main reasons we decided to get the Fusion 3, aside from the fact that we're loyalists, is that the American equipment is just slightly better. I mean, Chinese stuff is great. I, I don't want to be like Doc and Back to the Future. You know, I, I, things change. Not everything is always going to be bad. And a lot of the stuff they make in China is incredible. But these, these NEMA 19s, these stepper motors that we're using, they're, they're made out of Amer American copper, right? They're solid state electric motors that are they're, they're never gonna break down. I've seen too many of these motors actually get jammed, you know? And so that's a huge thing for me. The other thing is we're using a solid heat tray because we've been putting pizza bags over these. And again, like, you make it work. You make, you make a pizza bag work over your printer because you don't want warping in your material. But something tells me this acrylic box is just a little bit better, just saying. So I guess, it's all about having the best if you're gonna do the best work. And that's why we, we had to get this one. Will these appear on celebrityfeet.com? I mean, like, how many days have you spent mulling over mulberries, picking fruit with your friends? Not at your wigs. This is the meaning we're talking about. I mean, that one, I don't think you don't care. I am so tempted. It's like in the sound of music, and we're lying. They're like, what were you doing? Like, we were berry picking. It's like, who would make this up? This is literally my life. <laughs> Look at this, they're trying to steal from Roberto. <laughs> they love the mulberries. <laughs> Look at they just stole it from the rooster, and he's like, whatever. Now you want, you want me, I don't got any more, dude. You let them take it. I heard that their waddle is like a delicacy. <laughs> It does look tasty. Wouldn't you love to just fry it up, saute it, put it on a taco or something? You ever have chicken feet? They take the whole foot of the chicken, and they boil it, and I was in Singapore, and they just gave me, gave me a bowl of like, chicken feet. And I was like, what do I do? Do I eat the skin? And they were like, no, no, you just bite into it. And I was like, but there's like bone, isn't there? Like, yeah, 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 eat it. So just... Eat what you eat, man. Food's food. Baker. Cheesecake, jester, comedy. <laughs> Tell me a joke. A no, 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 no. <laughs> joke over. A, Let's just eat cheesecake. A priest and an alcoholic walk into a bar. <laughs> that was just the first guy. Oh, God. <laughs> What is this 
15. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Only real men can hoist Stein. You can't just have these little sparklers. Yes. You gotta have these Maybe. big sparklers. All right. Just take us. literally all of them out, put them all right. together. All right, and you get all the sparklers together like this. And then, yep. come over take here, the bundles. 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 Just make sure they don't fall out. Yeah. Yeah. Here, Which one's port? Does anybody know which one port is? Port is left. Port is ah, I was yeah. right. Andreas River. We we've, we've came here on by boat, and that gives us legal authority uh, to name things and, and, and take them, and it's mine now. Yeah, I get to call this Poolandia. Poolandia. No, it's because I'm part Asian. You're the Spanish guy, you know. I'm not historically a conquistador. Filipinos. Although I am, I am part British as well. So. I suppose I can come here for religious religious reasons. You could also just yeah. like culturally assimilate us with K-pop. Well, many of you are already finding out the truth about this place, that we're all a bit more than we seem. I think we're about to build a new reality, a new dream for everyone to share. We hope you're part of that dream. We hope it's the right dream for us all. Let us know if we're wrong. We're going to keep trying. Yeah. Whoops a day. Whoops a day. Whoops a day. Whoops a day.